In today's video, we'll take a look at all the functions that get a single character from a stream. To start up, we're going to start with the getCH function. So getCH, all it does, it doesn't take any parameters, but it returns a single character from the standard input, basically from your keyboard, right? And uh, the data type that it returns is an integer. I'm going to get to that in just a moment. But if I try to, for example, read just one single character and try to run this, right? And I start typing, you'll notice that the program just ends without any character being printed on the screen here, right? If I were to add a printf here, so say printf printed character, say percent %c here and the backslash n and our c, you'll notice if I type in, for, uh, for example, a, I get printed char a, but I don't see the actual character that I typed myself inside the console. Right? So get ch kind of uh, removes that from the console itself. It doesn't output it back. Now the function returns an int, even though it gets a character, due to the fact that uh, a character is only eight bits or one byte long and that is not enough to store the EOF or end of file uh, character, which is a negative one here. Now, I guess CH might be familiar to some of you guys that uh, were debugging in an environment where the debug console wouldn't automatically uh, stop uh, exiting, right? So here in Visual Studio, if I launch my program and my program stops, right? I get this message and I can press any key to continue, right? That the console doesn't straight out, straight up uh, close. But if I change a setting here, if I go to debug options and search here for console, you'll notice there is automatically close the console when debugging stops. So if I check this, if I try to run it, you'll notice that once I type in any character, the console automatically stops. So uh, when people had this issue back in the day, they were using get ch to sort of stop this. So they were just kind of adding a get ch call here at the end of the program. And uh, what you could do is run the program, type in, for example, one character, and you would get the output here on the console and you would have to actually type in another character for it to go away. But in today's world, many IDs actually have this option. You just have to make sure you enable it. So if I go here back to options and search it, search for it here in um, Visual Studio, I just have to uncheck this. And once again, if I run this, if I hit enter twice, you'll notice it still stops the program, right? The, the debugger is stopped, but we still get the console here. So this is what getCH was used for. But nowadays is basically obsolete because getCH is not a C standard function. getCH is a function from Conio.h and that is from uh, the MS-DOS era. And it's still, of course, it's still compatible with Windows due to the fact that Windows is built on top of that. And similarly, there's also getCHE, which you might have also seen. And the difference between that and get ch is simply that if you type in a character, it's going to also be uh, shown on the console, right? So I get here a first, so that's from the get ch e call, and then I get my printf here, right? Notice I don't have to hit enter for the character to get sent to the standard input. So both get ch and get ch e are basically obsolete, or at least they are only available on Windows, so they are not cross-platform compatible. What is inside the standard C library is the function get C. So get C is a simple function that, that what it does is taking a single character from any stream. So I can pass in here std in so that we have the same result as before. So here get C will just simply get one character from the standard input and show it on the screen. So if I try to run this now, You'll notice I, after I hit uh, A here, for example, I have to also hit enter. And only after I hit enter will that get C trigger. So this is a pretty big difference between that and get CH, right? You don't have, with get CH, you don't have to wait for an enter. Uh, similarly, aside from get C, there's also get char. And if you call get char, you're basically calling get C with the STD in. So 
this and what we had previously with get c and std in are equivalent 100 percent right so if i try to run this now it's exactly the same and there's one other function that is equivalent to get c and that is f get c and for whatever reason they are basically the same but for some reason get c can be a macro on certain uh, platforms but effectively they all take a uh, stream as an input here and they're gonna be uh, virtually the same in our, on our machine so the main takeaway here is that uh, f get c get c and get char are are all inside the uh, C standard. So you can use it wherever you would want on Linux, on Windows, or on any other platform that supports uh, the C compiler. But uh, get CH and get CHE should no longer be used because it's a very, very old function from the conio.h header and uh, it's only compatible with Windows for the most part. If you are reading from a file, this int would come in handy because you could actually compare this with the end of file character. Right? And this is why the return type is integral. So I hope this sort of clarified the confusion about all these uh, get character functions that are out there. Uh, if you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.